What's up guys, Sean Stafford here, Team Optimum Nutrition Athlete, and today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about my training in preparation for running the Everest Marathon. So the Everest Marathon is one of the toughest endurance events on the planet. It is 26.2 miles around Everest Base Camp, and what makes it so challenging, it's set at five and a half thousand meters of altitude, it's got some of the most toughest gradient of any trail race in the world, and more importantly, the terrain is some of the toughest on the planet. So in order for me to complete this event with any level of success, my training needs a complete overhaul. So as many of you guys will know, my background is in sort of bodybuilding and physique training, predominantly in the weights room. I'd be lifting weights four to five, maybe even six times a week, and any cardiovascular work would be to just try and maintain a base level of fitness and to try and eke out that extra last bit of body fat as you get ready for a show or for a shoot. During this prep for the Everest Marathon, I've cut my training right the way back to two to sometimes three sessions a week. So two of those sessions of weights that I'm doing at the moment are predominantly upper body conditioning sessions. And my passion and my love for training has come and will always be in physique. So in order to keep me motivated and to keep my body from deteriorating too much on this journey, I'm still training with weights in sort of a, a strength and hypertrophy fashion for a couple of times a week. I'm also doing a lower body conditioning and core workout, but as I've discovered as this preparation for the marathon has gone on, Doing that session on tired legs is very, very tough. So if any of these sessions are gonna get cut, for me at the moment, it's that, that legs and core session. One of the other major reasons why I have reduced the amount of weight training that I'm currently doing is because I'm trying to reduce the amount of muscle mass that I have on my body to make my running that little bit easier. The second major change in my training has been a real switch up with the type and intensity of the cardio I'm doing. So when I was training for physique, there was a real focus on trying to get short, sharp hit sessions in to try and eke out the most sort of body fat you can, but also to keep that base level of cardiovascular conditioning for your heart, lungs, and circulatory system. So to cast you back to January when I first started training for this challenge in earnest, I was doing about 10 to 15 kilometers a week. I now try and get that distance up over 35, 40, 45, maybe even 50 kilometers a week to try and get my body not only used to running on tired legs, but to get my aerobic conditioning to the place which I need it to be to run a marathon. So with such a dramatic shift in the way I'm training, not only with the weights and not only with the massive ramp up in cardio conditioning that I'm doing, my supplementation around my workouts really needed to change too. So whereas I was predominantly fairly low carb in my preparations for when I was competing in physique, now that I need that immediate return of energy, the amount of carbohydrate within my diet has gone up. That means that one of the most important pre-workout supplements that I'm taking is actually the ON High Protein Flapjack Bar. Not only does it give me 20 grams of high quality protein, but more importantly for me at this moment, I get 40 grams of high quality complex carbohydrate to really allow my body to, to sustain itself over a long period of time and give me the energy I need to really perform form over a long distance. Whereas before with my short, sharp, intense workouts for physique, I would often take a pre-workout supplement to give me that real boost in intensity. With the duration increase and the type of training that I'm doing now, I found a real need to sort of take away that spike in intensity and have a more sustained, low level energy release from a product such as Amino Energy. I actually take Amino Energy when I'm on my sort of longer runs to give me that slow, steady state energy level to sustain the longer runs. The biggest shift I've noticed from going from those short, sharp, intense workouts with long recovery to that sort of longer, sort of more grueling workouts is that real effect on my body, my immune system, and my fatigue levels. So the product I've started using to really combat this is BCAA Train and Sustain. The active ingredients in this product not only help combat sort of immune suppression, but they also really, really help reduce fatigue in the body so that you feel recovered and, and ready to go for your next run. 
So when prepping for an event like the Everest Marathon, there are a lot of variables you need to consider. One of these variables is the altitude at which you'll be doing the event. And what that means from a physiological point of view is there is a lot less oxygen. And the effect that altitude can have on people can be quite debilitating. So to combat the effects of training at altitude, I've been training in an altitude chamber a couple of times a week. So that means running on a treadmill at altitudes of up to 3,000 meters. This will get my body used to functioning and more importantly running with a lot less oxygen in the air. I've also been doing some passive recovery sessions on a pod where I've been breathing oxygen that's around five and a half to 6,000 meters of simulated altitude. This is gonna replicate exactly what will be the air consistency when we're up Everest, so hopefully my body won't have too much of a shock when I get up there. Training specifically for the event that you're gonna be doing is really important, and trying to simulate those conditions as closely as you can is a really good way to prepare your body for what it's gonna go through. So one of the hardest things about this training phase for me has been to refocus and step away from a, a focus on physique and focus on a completely different goal. Ever since I started training in the gym, my primary focus has been on physique and the way I look. And with this phase of training, I know that the style of training and the type of training that I'm doing, my physique will take a hit. Mentally, that's very tough for me to do, but I know that when it comes to being able to complete the challenge I've set myself to the best of my ability, it's one of those things that you've got to sacrifice along the way. As my physique almost takes a step back and takes a hit, my fitness and my ability to continue for long periods of time running has really gone up. What I would say is that by resetting your goals and focusing on something different, what you're doing is you're opening up doors and seeing what your body and your mind is really capable of. Trying something new and pushing yourself in a way that you're maybe not sure you can complete is one of the best ways of personal and physical and mental growth. So my advice would be sign up to something, get on board with a plan and just make it happen. So if you guys have found this information interesting or maybe I've inspired you to maybe shift your own training goals a little bit, let me know in the comments section below. I always love to hear from you guys. And as always, wish me luck on this challenge and I'll see you when I get back.